Morning guys and gals, Froggy here. Well, it happened again. I've got another electronic device, battery powered electronic device, a remote that's got damage inside. And it's Duracell batteries again. I did one of these about oh, a month ago maybe. This Duracell battery is supposed to be good till March 2019 and right now it's July of 2014 so so much for that anyway last time I cleaned up uh, one of these devices I used uh, brake cleaner fluid which worked pretty good and I started to use that again but it, start, it melted the plastic a little bit. I, it was having a reaction. You can see where I wiped off some of the plastic. So, I, Luckily I did it on this side. There wasn't any damage or anything. I wiped it all dry. But I got to thinking maybe there's a better way. So I went to the internet and here's what I found. Vinegar and baking soda. Both of those have been used to clean these these kinds of terminals you can see on the coily part hopefully the greenish greenish whitish corrosion and this one's not too far not too far gone not too bad so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean one of them with vinegar and I'm going to clean one of them with baking soda now here's my theory and if one of you guys and gals out there is a chemist or somebody who has a lot of knowledge about this uh, please put something in the comments about it but the corrosion is I think leaking battery acid some kind of a battery acid that leaks out so in the first place when you use vinegar vinegar is acidic also you're using acid to clean up acid, which is okay. I mean, uh, acid is a pretty universal solvent or cleaner. Now, if you use baking soda, let's get the... We're not going to use that. If you use baking soda, you're neutralizing the acid. And I actually saw one video where they mixed baking soda with acid instead of with water. But I'm not sure that would prove anything. Um, so here, let's get to it. We got my Q-tips, and I'm going to uh, try and one-hand this. Let's do the baking soda first. Just mix it up a little bit, and my camera's got a little light on it, so. I'm just going to start by dabbing it on there. And that certainly it seems to like dissolve or evaporate or it cleans it up pretty good. I, I like the result of that. There. Sorry, this is a little better frame. Yeah. It wasn't damaged very much, so I'm not really showing very much residue. Not much residue that comes off there. So there's one. Now let's flip it around the other way. We'll use the other end of the Q-tip. And we'll go... I just decanted some of this vinegar into that little blue cap from the brake cleaner. Let's see what this does. That is also dissolving the uh, gunk. Uh, that's a scientific word, gunk. Uh, it's dissolving it on that contact. So, now I'm going to have to get that little stringy thing off of there. So, what did we determine? I think we determined they both work. Now, I'm going to say 
I like the baking soda a little bit better because it's neutralizing the acid. The vinegar is fighting acid with acid, but then I've kind of got a, a maybe a little cleanup problem afterwards, although I think the air will evaporate the vinegar pretty well. Um, but I would maybe neutralize that with some baking soda and water after I um, use the vinegar. So there you have it. I think either one of these works, and they're both better than the uh, the brake cleaner uh, fluid that I used uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so I invite your comments, and um, hope this helps you out. Two different ways to clean up the contacts, and they've been damaged by these stupid Duracell batteries that don't seem to be worth a damn. Uh, but... Uh, Anyway, uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it, or uh, subscribe if you want more from Froggy. I'll see you later, guys and gals. Froggy out. Bye-bye. Okay, i got to follow this up with one more comment, because after uh, Froggy shut off the camera, I was still trying to get a little bit of corrosion off of one of the uh, wire coils. And here's the conclusion that I came to. You actually probably want to use both of these. The acid is a stronger cleaner, the vinegar, the vinegar acid. It's a mild acid, but it's still a better cleaner. The baking soda is a neutralizer of acid. So what you want to do first is clean it with the vinegar. And then, after you get it as clean as you can, and it'll get pretty clean. I'm sorry about the focus, I'm just not... I'm having luck with my focus, and I'm holding it as steady as I can. There. Well, there. Okay, that's pretty good. Then you want to neutralize the vinegar and the battery acid and whatever else is on that piece of wire with the baking soda. Then you want to just dry everything off. You can use some compressed air or just air dry it or just rub it with a... Uh, paper towel and uh, so it's like a two-step process acid first then baking soda that's froggy's conclusion please add comments if you have a, a differing opinion or you think i got it right um i appreciate the comments see you later froggy out bye bye